What's going on YouTube? Uh, just giving you a quick update. I've been getting some questions about <clears throat> the side art on the side of the one up cabinets. So I'm going to show you guys, well, I'm actually going to tell you and show you what I used and how to get the, uh, the good results that I got when applying a poster to the side of your cabinet. Um, so for first thing, this is the roller. It's a foam roller brush. And my light's really bright, sorry, but it's just your basic foam roller brush um, to apply it on the side of the cabinet. And then I applied um, this stuff called Mod Podge. The stuff works really good, and if you mess up or it doesn't look quite the way you want it to, it does wash off with water, and it comes off really good. It just takes a lot of time to clear it off because the paper tears, sticks to it, but you take hot water to it, let it soak in, go over it again with hot water. It'll come right off and you can just do it again. Posters are not that expensive. Um, at least in my eye, five bucks is, you know, not much, especially when you're cutting it. But I do suggest that when you do apply it, you set it on its side, lay your cabinet on its side, apply the uh, Mod Podge with your foam, uh, your foam roller, and just a real light layer. Just just apply it evenly across the whole cabinet where your poster is going to go. Uh, Pre-trim the poster. That way when you apply it, you can just square it up at the bottom. And then just lay it down flat. And then try and get it as flat as you can and get all the air bubbles out. Now for me, I've noticed, because um, I did both sides, I've noticed when you apply it, it will bubble. But if you leave it on its side and just leave it there until it dries... I'm talking about a day. You leave it on its side for about a day and those bubbles will work themselves out. Like here, I had a whole bunch of bubbles here and I let it sit on its side for a day. There's not a single bubble going on anywhere on this whole poster. I mean, you just go and look, there's not a single bubble and there was bubbles when I put it down. So I was freaking out, wondering if the bubbles would come out and I, I just I left it alone. I let it sit there and dry for a day on its side. And sure enough, the bubbles worked themselves out. So that's one side. Sorry, my cat, it's all taken apart. Um, and this is my other side for uh, the poster art I used. And then just another quick um, um, update here is I made a shelf here. Um, I just had an extra uh, piece of the MDF um, board that I just ended up making a shelf here. Now I might move my subwoofer up top on this shelf, but for now I'm just going to have my Raspberry Pi. And, um, once I get my monitor, I got this adapter and it's an HDMI with audio to a VGA, um, hookup. So when I get my 19 inch monitor, I'll be able to plug the monitor straight into this, which is going into the Raspberry Pi. And this is my subwoofer set up here. So it's gonna be a lot better than your standard 17 inch LCD um, monitor that you do get stock with the Arcade One Up. So just uh, letting everyone know that that's how I applied the side art. Take your time, go slow. Um, I mean, you don't have to pre trim it. I'm just trying to help people out because it's a little easier when you do pre trim it and when you're laying it down. That way it's not gonna be crooked or anything like that. So just go slow, take your time. Don't worry about the bubbles. They will work themselves out. And I'll tell you what guys, it's a lot cheaper than spending 35, $40 on those side art decals that uh, a lot of those web type websites are trying to charge you. So five bucks for this, talking $5 for a bottle of Mod Podge and probably, you know, maybe two, three bucks for the foam brush roller and uh, just a little bit of work on your end and you have any, whatever poster you can find, you can apply it to your arcade one-up cabinet. Um, go ahead guys, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Just trying to help everyone save money. All right, stay tuned, thanks.